Today I'm going to be talking to you guys about 5 key mistakes that I see a lot of people making when deciding to pick a main in Smash Ultimate, or 5 mistakes that people have previously made that led to them having a main that they really don't like way too much. Now do keep in mind this is going to be my own personal opinion and from my own experience, so please take everything with a huge grain of salt. With that said, let's get started. So the first mistake that I see a lot of people making in Smash Ultimate from a competitive level to just a purely casual level is picking a main just 100% based off a certain franchise that they like. Now this could be, you know, you really like Pokemon, you really like Mario, you really like Legend of Zelda, Street Fighter. There's a lot of franchises that have a lot of history and Smash kind of has them all. But there comes a lot of problems from choosing a character just because there's a certain franchise that you enjoy. Mainly being a lot of the time you're picking the character that isn't necessarily the best one for you. You know, potentially you could be picking a franchise that has your best character, but really it's at maximum like a 7 out of 72 chance. The chance, honestly, on paper by itself isn't way too high. In a lot of cases, if you aren't trying out everyone, if you aren't giving everyone a fair chance, you're really honestly missing out on a big chance of picking up a character that could be your favorite, that could lead you to actually learning a new franchise that you might like, and even start playing those games as well. So I feel like that can kind of be one of the main problems. Now, a bigger problem from choosing a character just based purely off the franchise that you like is that oftentimes they won't quite have the right playstyle for you, or no one within a certain franchise has quite the right playstyle for you. Let's look at, for example, someone like the Legend of Zelda franchise. There's a lot of characters, but a lot of the characters are quite defensive, and even the offensive one, you know, being Young Link, doesn't have that much range. So let's say you want to play a pretty high range offensive character that even has a sword, like, you know, Roy, for example, well, you can't really, because Legend of Zelda series doesn't have that. You could see by this, just a small example alone, you could really be limiting yourself by just choosing based off a certain franchise. Now, of course, if you love a certain character in a certain franchise, if you like how they feel, you know, that's a perfect, just best of both worlds example. But oftentimes that won't happen. And I'm going to say to you, it's a lot funner to play Smash, playing a character you enjoy, playing a character that doesn't feel awkward, and playing a character you think is pretty good, rather than just playing someone that is from a franchise you really like. Now, if you really, really want to play a character from a franchise you like, but maybe they don't fit you exactly, picking one up as a secondary can be a great idea. It can, you know, essentially give you all the benefits of playing one as your main, but I recommend probably to do that and to leave your main instead for a character that you personally feel like fits you better and works the best for you in Ultimate so that you can get as much playtime and enjoy yourself as much as possible with this character. The second mistake that I see a lot of people get stuck up in is playing a character that they aren't really succeeding as in the long term. Now, this could be, you know, you pick up a character and you play them for maybe three or four weeks, or even you pick up a character and you play them for a month or two, but you're not really finding any success as this character at all. Now, a lot of people would say, you know, this only really applies if you're playing a low tier and you should have to play a top tier. I'm not really saying that. What I'm mainly saying is that no matter what tier of character you're playing, and no matter what friend group you're playing, either versus your friends or tournaments or online or whatever, make sure you're picking a character that is good enough and that you're good enough as and that fits your playstyle well enough where you can do pretty well. Now, this is because if you pick a character and just really stick to a character that doesn't fit you, you're going to lose a lot of games. And as well, you're going to start to think your character isn't that great, and you're probably not going to really want to practice this character way too much, and then you're probably not going to really want to play way too much, and then there you go, it's not really that fun. You're playing a character that you don't really enjoy way too much, and overall, just make sure that you pick somebody that you think is A, pretty good, and B, if you aren't having any results as a character, try somebody else out. Of course, later on, you could pick them up later, they could really fit with you later, but don't force yourself to play somebody just because you, you know, randomly decided to do it in the past. It's okay to swap, it's okay to play someone that you're doing better with, and then maybe keep these characters as secondary if you really, really want to play them for the long term. The third mistake that I see a ton of people making is choosing a character and then expecting that they're going to be buffed in the future. Now, this mainly, of course, applies to people that are playing a lot of the low tier characters or the bottom tier characters. And, you know, maybe you're playing Ganondorf or you're playing Bowser Jr. or you're playing, you know, whoever else is, you know, lower bottom tier at this current point of time. But you pick up this character and your player that really wants to win games, you want to do your best. And you're mainly thinking to yourself, hey, they're not that good right now, but in a few months after the patches come through, they're probably going to be pretty good. So, you know, whatever, I'll pick up this character, I'll play them, and I'll really hope that they're going to get buffs. Now, of course, if you enjoy this character for any number of reasons and just want to play them because you really want to play them and you don't really care about how strong they are, that's completely fine. Go on, keep playing them. But if you're a person that's just really hopeful about this character getting buffs, I'd say don't pick up that character because in a lot of the cases, they won't get buffed. And this mainly comes from information from Smash 4. There was characters like Jigglypuff and Ganondorf who were just, by the bottom, the worst characters in the game for the longest time. But guess what? They never got any buffs. <laughs> Jigglypuff especially 
zero buffs the entirety of Smash 4. And I think that's kind of what you have to realize. When you pick a character, expect for them to be as good at the beginning as they are at the end, with all the patches coming through. Now, of course, they might get buffed, they might not get buffed, but honestly, just expect that they won't and plays if they won't. Don't play your character like the lottery, don't wait for your main to get buffed, just accept where they are right now, accept how good they are, and continue moving forward. And if your character's not good enough for you, pick somebody else. I know that that kind of is harsh, but that's honestly what I'm gonna say, and just don't expect a lot of buffs in the future, as a lot of cases, they probably won't come. <laughs> the fourth mistake that I see a lot of people making is simply put, expecting that their first main in Smash Ultimate is going to be their main for the entirety of Smash Ultimate. Now, of course, the hope for you as a player is that, yeah, you will be picking up a character and that will be your favorite character and you will play them for month and month and month on end and everyone else will play that same character as well, you know, whatever that character uh, that they're maining and it'll be great. You'll all get really great at your characters and you'll have wasted no time on anyone else. And that is, you know, the perfect world. But in a lot of situations, uh, you realize that, eh, I actually don't really like this character because X, Y, and Z reasons. Or maybe my friend doesn't really like this character because X, Y, and Z reasons as well. And I think a thing you have to realize is that just because you really wanted to play a character or just because you're really hyped for a character or just because even you liked a character, you know, while you were casual or while you were just starting in tournaments doesn't mean that you'll like them later on. And that's completely fine. There's no more saying, you know, you played Jigglypuff in you know, the first few months of the game, you gotta play Jigglypuff now. Sure, sometimes people might say, hey, I thought you were a person maining this character and now you're maining this. And you just have to say, yep, I changed mains. And they'll be like, oh, okay, <laughs> that's fine. And that's something that I think is really important. As well, I know that there's a lot of people that just expect to main the same character that they main in the last game, and this can also be a big pitfall. Sometimes you might like, you know, Marth and Melee, or you might even like Marth and Brawl or Smash 4, but that doesn't necessarily mean that you'll like him in this game. Give every single character you have, and every single character you're playing, and even the main you're currently using, a good shot. See if you like them or not, but don't feel like you have to play that character because you used them in the past. People will just accept that you're changing characters, there's not too much to worry about. I should also note right here that you should really just expect to main a lot of different characters. And as well, it's actually really good for you because if you just start off playing Smash and you don't really know what you like, you can't really say that you're going to really want to play a certain character for the long run. But as you start to play different characters, as you start to put in a lot of different hours, you're going to kind of realize over time, what do I like the most? Do I like aggression? Do I like defense? Do I like projectiles? Do I like a good juggling game? Do I like really good speed? Do I not really care about that? Do I like to get edge guarded or do I like to do the edge guarding? That kind of, you know, will come up over time. You realize what you like to do and what you hate having done to you. And that'll eventually kind of merge together to the character that you're going to play in the long term. Just realize that, yeah, it does take a lot of time. It does take a lot of mains and be okay with swapping every once in a while. Of course, potentially it would be the best to play one character forever, but it's probably gonna happen, so don't hurt yourself and don't hit yourself out of the head way too much for swapping characters. The final mistake that I see a lot of players do is choosing their main 100% based off of a tier list. And I feel like this is just one of those most common things that so many people know, but as well that pretty much almost every single player does anyways, because in the long run, you're probably saying to yourself, hey, I want to pick a good character. I want to win a lot of games. So I'll just look at the tier list and pick someone at the very top. But the thing I'm going to say to you right here is that in a lot of cases, the best characters don't necessarily fit everybody's play styles. Sure, there might be about 10 to 15 characters that are you know, relatively as good as each other that, you know, as a very top level competitive player, you probably should pick but maybe none of those characters work for you. And that's completely fine. I'm gonna say for the vast majority of players, if you aren't trying to become the best player in the entire world, you really don't have to focus way too much on the tier list. Sure, if you're picking someone that isn't that great, it might be more difficult, but I've had many, many games in local tournaments where someone's picking up Jigglypuff or Luigi or some other random character that I personally don't think is way too good, and they do pretty darn well with them. Now sure, maybe they aren't winning every single tournament, and sure, maybe picking a top tier could help them, but since they really like this character and since they're putting so much time into them, in the long run, they're probably doing better with the character that they're currently playing that they currently enjoy than the top tier type character. And I guess it really does kind of depend on you, what you want, but I feel like for the most people, you should just pick a character based off what you think is fun and what is really good for you and fits your play style instead of just what is the best. And I'm also gonna sit right here, you know, if you're even just picking the character just because they're the best, a lot of the time, some of the best characters actually get countered by some of the other best characters, so really, there is no just pick the best and win. Uh, so I guess that's another thing to keep in mind. 
But anyways, there you guys go. My own personal five key mistakes I see a lot of people making when choosing a character that personally I hope you guys will not make now that they're kind of in your mind. I feel like the majority of these things are pretty easy to avoid doing once you know that they're there. But sometimes it's just kind of hard to think about doing because, you know, who randomly thinks about a lot of these things? You got to just pick a main uh, for you know whatever reason at the very beginning of the game and don't really think about it too much. So I hope that this could help you guys out a little bit. I know there's a lot of people still looking for a main and, you know, even in some cases I'm swapping all over the place. So, you know, it happens to the best of us. As always, the guys, thank you all for watching. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, talk about this group right now as a playlist for more Smash Ultimate videos, similarly to this one. Leave a like if you want to see more videos like this in the future and hit subscribe to see them as well. And as always, guys, thank you all for watching and have a smashing day.